Overland Park's mayor is trying to explain a quiet deal with a police officer who shot and killed a suicidal teenager. John Albers died in January of 2018. His family recently learned there was a deal to allow the officer to leave with a $70,000 severance package and keep his peace officer's license. Investigative reporter Angie Racona reports on what was revealed today. The media conference just ended. I'm outside City Hall, and we know that the city manager is the one who brokered this quiet severance package. But today it was the mayor trying to explain it and frame it as good city business, because if they didn't do this, there could potentially have been some expensive litigation. But the family didn't know about it, and you and I won't know the details because at the bottom of this is a non-disclosure agreement. Back in 2018, John Albers was shot and killed by a police officer who fired 13 shots into the car when he was trying to leave. Now, a lot has changed in Overland Park since that teenager's death. Police will now have crisis training. And if police show up where there is a mental health concern, there will be a crisis response team. Shooting at moving vehicles is no longer the policy of the department. And today the mayor is trying to defend this deal, which quietly took place. They didn't say he didn't do anything wrong. He said they wasn't enough to charge him with. And uh, I think since we, they couldn't charge him, we had to make a decision. Do we fire him, like I mentioned before, and go to long legal battle and have our civil service board actually put him back on? Or should we negotiate and make sure he's out of this community and not an officer in our city anymore. The family of John Albers is very critical of this deal and feels there has been a huge lack of transparency by police, prosecutors and elected leaders. The family settled a civil lawsuit with the city, but they want laws to change. The final investigative reports have never been made public, and the family says that police departments and city leaders can and should do better. There should be more transparency, and they still don't have that. Reporting in Overland Park, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.